Good morning, this is Francesca Evans from Lime Online bringing you another special news bulletin from home with all the latest on the coronavirus epidemic and how it's affecting our local community. Authorities have issued a stark warning to deter visitors from resorts such as Lime Regis over the Easter weekend. Thousands of visitors would normally descend on Lime Regis during a usual bank holiday weekend, but holidaymakers and second homeowners are now being told to stay away in a bid to stop the further spread of coronavirus. After almost three weeks in lockdown, concerns have been raised that the improved weather will bring visitors to the southwest, increasing the spread of the virus and putting pressure on local services. Police, councils, local doctors and NHS staff and West Dorset's MP Chris Loder have all released messages asking the public to stay home. Pandemic. This afternoon I just have two messages for you. The first is that if you're planning to visit West Dorset, if you're planning to come to Lyme Regis, to Bridport, to West Bay, the key tourist hotspots, if you like, please don't do it. Please follow the advice of the Prime Minister and the Chief Medical Officer and stay at home. Social distancing is really, really important to reduce the risk of spreading this horrible, horrible virus. And if you don't listen to that advice, you basically are putting yourself and other people's lives at risk. Several members of Dorset Council have also released videos asking holidaymakers to stay away, including council leader Spencer Flower. He said now is not the time to be visiting a second home or holiday home, but visitors would be welcome back in the future. Dorset Police have also put out a message on social media saying Dorset is closed, adding that they will be policing roads and other transport networks over the weekend. Lyme Regis GP Dr Forbes Watson released the following message saying there was overwhelming evidence that social distancing would help save lives. Never has it been more important to either isolate or socially distance as the evidence is overwhelming that the more we can all do this, the more lives can be saved. I would therefore urge you all to follow the directions given to protect yourself and those around you. So please, please stay at home, protect the NHS to save lives. Thank you. Lime's two main holiday letting companies, Lime Bay Holidays and Toad Hall Cottages, have stopped taking bookings. Airbnb has also announced that it has suspended bookings for most British customers, following an increase in the number of so-called isolation retreats. Many local caravan and camping parks are also closed, as well as car parks, restaurants, shops and amenities. Two Lime Regis businesses run by celebrity chef Mark Hicks have become the first local victims of the coronavirus epidemic, having been placed into administration by their parent company. Mr Hicks sold his company four and a half years ago to London hospitality company Westbury Street Holdings, but he used his own finance to secure a 25% stake in the restaurants he ran in London and Lyme Regis. While he was aware of the decision to put the businesses into administration and understood why it was necessary, he has stressed that it was not his decision. The businesses affected include Hicks Oyster and Fish House in Cobb Road and Hicks Townhouse in Pound Street, as well as four restaurants in London. Mr Hicks also ran the annual Food Rocks Festival in Lyme Regis, raising tens of thousands for his chosen charities. Grant funding of £3,000 will boost a community support network set up to help residents during the coronavirus epidemic. The Town Council has been working with the new Lyme Regis Community Support Group to secure a £3,000 grant from Dorset Community Foundation. The support group was set up through Facebook after local residents Victoria Cottle and Grace Herbert expressed concerns about help needed for the elderly and vulnerable. With help from Town Councillor Cheryl Reynolds and Fran Williams, they have now built a network of more than 100 volunteers. These have been appointed to look out for residents in specific areas of the town, as well as to collect and deliver shopping and prescriptions, or to simply call those in need of some company. For more details, to volunteer, or if you need support, visit the Facebook page shown on screen now. While Lyme Regis residents have been getting used to life in isolation, they have been coming up with lots of new ways to keep themselves entertained. Upline residents Neville and Sarah Causley have been particularly busy, running weekly virtual quiz nights, dance lessons and now baking classes for children. 
a father and son have been creating unique sand art on Lyme Regis Beach, and we've also been sent photos of children enjoying sports, gardening, cooking and crafts at home. Many have been making final touches to their Easter bonnets for this Sunday's virtual parade, which will appear on the Lyme Regis Regatta and Carnival Committee Facebook page. Please keep sending in your photos and remember, stay home and stay safe.